Hi, welcome to May Love. Today we answered the question, can I use vitamin C and niacinamide together in my skincare routine? The answer is yes. You may have heard not to mix these two ingredients together, but let me explain why you can most definitely use them both together in your skincare routine. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. If you're watching this video, then you're probably aware that vitamin C and niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3, are both great for the skin. Vitamin C fights sun damage and free radicals, which are huge drivers of premature aging of the skin. On the other hand, niacinamide is another superstar ingredient. Niacinamide fortifies the skin barrier and increases its ability to retain moisture. It's also a powerful anti-inflammatory. So all in all combined, niacinamide has a very calming effect on chronically dry skin that often suffers from redness and irritation. And on top of all that, vitamin C and niacinamide can both increase collagen production and combat hyperpigmentation. Really, vitamin C and niacinamide are two of the best researched and most proven skincare ingredients. So not only can you use both vitamin C and niacinamide in your skincare routine, we think that you should use them both because they have complementary benefits. Now, when you're making a skincare formulation, like we do here at Maylove, there is a reason not to combine vitamin C and niacinamide into one single product. First of all, let's note that in most cases, the vitamin C that you find in skincare products is ascorbic acid, or L-ascorbic acid to be more specific. Although on an ingredient label, you would just see ascorbic acid because that's the official recognized ingredient term by INCI. INCI is an international standards in cosmetic ingredient labeling, so the same ingredient is called the same thing globally. If a skincare product says it contains vitamin C, probably about 95 out of 100 times, it's ascorbic acid. This is because ascorbic acid is the most widely used type of vitamin C, because it's the most researched and proven form of vitamin C. We'll go in depth about why and how in a separate video. But for now, what you need to know is that ascorbic acid is water soluble, which is why you usually find it in a serum form. But it has to be formulated very specifically for it to actually get past your skin barrier and into your skin in significant amounts. Ascorbic acid should be formulated to be pretty acidic, so around a pH 3.5 or lower, and optimally at a 10 to 20% concentration. Ideally, you also want to see it formulated with other antioxidants like vitamin E and ferulic acid. This is because a study by Lin and colleagues in 2005 showed that if you add antioxidants, vitamin E and ferulic acid to vitamin C, this not only improves the stability of vitamin C, but it also increases the photoprotective ability of vitamin C by eightfold compared to just vitamin C alone. On the other hand, niacinamide should ideally be formulated between a pH of 4 and 6. When outside of this pH range, niacinamide is more likely to break down into niacin, which can be irritating to the skin. So if you've experienced irritation from a niacinamide product in the past, it could have been because a product you used was not appropriately formulated and that niacinamide turned into niacin. So if you see ascorbic acid and niacinamide formulated together in a single product, one or the other may not be working as well as it could be because these two ingredients are optimal and stable at different non-overlapping pH ranges. So in summary, yes, you can absolutely use both vitamin C and niacinamide in your skincare routine. But because of their different optimal pH ranges, these two ingredients should come as separate products. You can apply vitamin C and niacinamide separately in steps, and both can be used in the morning and at night. I would say give enough time between applying each product. The general rule of thumb that we like to say here at Maylove is waiting about 60 to 90 seconds between each step. Click on the link below for the write-up of this video and make sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. Thanks and see you next time.